And with Cheryl, you were mentioning that you're able to control the um, anxiousness and control that uh, better, easier, and more consistently. Yes. And the next thing that you notice, whether I don't know if you've noticed it yet, but the next thing that you will notice is that your base level is more calm. So the first thing that happens is we have tools we can use and actually tools that actually are effective. Oh, this actually works. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, I can use this and this makes a difference. This does settle me. And if we stay with the same tools and techniques over time, your base level changes. Your default setting on the thermostat, thermostat setting changes consistently. It changes. It's changed. And so your baseline is different. That's my hope that I won't get to that level in the future. Yeah. And that's moving towards true freedom. But of course, it has to happen first that you can modulate it and use tools to assuage it, to modify it, to uh, minimize these uh, sharp uh, actions mm -hmm. in, the, in the mind's rhythms. But we, we need to have that first. But what's happening under the surface is a cultivation of an base, an underground, a basis mm -hmm. that's being cultivated as we speak. It can't show itself right away, but yeah. it's being developed. Right. On the plus side, somebody at work did say that they said I was a very calm person and they had never seen me upset. And I thought, well, then I must hide it well, or maybe I'm calmer than I realize. <laughs> We're we're typically our own worst critic. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. 